What's going on? What's going on? Is this, is this black screen? Is this, is this black screen? Hey! 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 Oh! There we go. Oh, you know what this is? Well, to be fair, you knew what it was before that. Because you looked at the title of the YouTube video. You did look at the title, right? You fucking jerks. This is... Oh, fuck! I went to adjust the volume. I just turned my TV off. So, like, I'm... Hang on. Technical difficulties. Let me... Let me turn it back on here. <laughs> I did it on purpose. But as you can see, what we're playing is Pikmin for the game. Oh, no! Wait! No. It's for Resident Evil. No, it's Resident Evil 4. Why is the 4 first? Why is the 4 first? I never understood why the 4 was first. It's fucking dumb. But this is what we're playing. Skadoosh! I clicked that uh, thing and I expected more, a more... I haven't played it in a while. I expected a more dramatic... A and I clicked start and it was like... Shwink! I was like, huh. Well, that was underwhelming. Alright, so what happened was I recorded part 1. And I ended up deleting it by accident. I well, I did. <laughs> there it is. Resident Evil Far. I deleted the audio by accident. Whoopsies. But it was only one part. So here we are again. Oh, it's 1998. Only on it's 2011. It's the fucking future, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you haven't figured it out by now. Secret viral this, conducted by the this right here, pharmaceutical is a, uh, this is a Resident Evil 4 Let's Play. I'm playing on the Xbox 360, and I downloaded Resident Evil 4 on the Xbox Live Marketplace, because it was a deal. You get a thousand points, too. There's a thousand, um, sorry, not points. There's a thousand gamer scores uh, for this game. And there's only 12 Still achievements, and I believe you get nine of them just by completing the game. The affair gone public. Which is the 550 points, and, the and then the other three achievements are like 150, 150, 150, 150, or and for all some shit purposes, like that. Does that make sense? Does that add up? I don't know! I'm not a goddamn mathematician! I play video games! Haha! <laughs> Except now I do it for a living! Oh, I Oh, this, is Resident <clears throat> this is Resident Evil 4, by the way. They, now, they put the title right there. They put Resident Evil 4. Why the fuck was the 4 first? That pissed me off forever. I think I was like 17 when this game came out, which blows my fucking mind that this game's seven years old. Because I remember when it came out, and I was like, Too many chillikers! That's what I sounded like when I was 17. Too many chillikers, this game's coming out. Also, if you're new to my Let's Plays, or my videos in general, you'll find out that I talk over every cutscene. Every day. You don't like it? There's the door! Get the fuck out! That's not why we're here. We're here for the colorful commentary. We got Leon. He's talking. Fucking cute as fuck. Look at his hair. God damn it, man. Those bangs. Like, oh, I want bangs like that. Look at this guy. What a jerk. I hope that guy dies soon, but he probably won't, right? <laughs> Except he will. You're gonna be dead, you piece of shit. Maybe you did. Look at him. Why is he wearing gloves? He's wearing like white. He's wearing like fucking Michael Jackson gloves. Uh, are you? You touching kids? You touching balls? You touching balls? Try the ball, stupid. We're moving along here now. We're getting there. Oh shit! There's a road. What's gonna happen next? This is. It's very gray. It's very gray. Why is it so gray? Why is it so gray? Look at the license plate. Is it? Is that an Easter egg? Easter egg? What? No. Oh. Oh, what's he doing? It was right before There's something here. Right here we go. This is... Uh, uh, nope. Playing with his dick. It's cool. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He's just playing with his dick. Yeah. Intelligence. No, don't worry about it. About a sighting of a he's dick. Looks very similar to the no, he was playing with his dick. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified. He was playing with his dick. Who would have thought that my? Ha <laughs> ha! You can hear the you can hear the pee pee sound going like it's like. What? Oh, there's a monster in the woods. What the, what the fuck is that? What? It's freezing. I'm missing something. I'm missing drugs. I mean, Tic Tacs. If you want a fucking triple-A performance that you're never going to forget, then, you know, performance enhancers may be necessary. And by that, I mean ibuprofen, okay, people? 
Let's keep it fucking PG here, you stupid motherfucking pieces of shit. Just saying. All right, now, back in the day, I was fucking, I was a pro with this game, okay? This is no longer back in the day. I did download this game on the Xbox Live Marketplace like the week it came out, which is like, probably like two months ago, I guess, from, from now. And I played a little bit of it. I either got to chap Act 2 or Chapter 2, whatever I almost did, but I wasn't very far in it. I have the first two achievements, which one is uh, story-driven. You just get it automatically. I'll point it out when you get it. Or when you would get it. And the other one is optional. Or, you know, you have to go out of your way to get it, but it's super fucking easy, and I will also uh, point that out. But that said, I should have some fair amount of knowledge. I Dead Space was pretty is a pretty knowledgeable let's play Dead Space 2. And that was my fifth run through. This is legitimately probably the 10th time I'm playing this game, but again, I played it like 8 or 9 times fucking talk to you later. You know, in 2004. So it could be a bit rusty. All right, what I do remember from playing this 2 months ago is the uh initial controls are fucking stupid. They don't have you uh they don't have you shooting with the right trigger, which is fucking silly. Oh, no, it's already... Okay, it already saved because of my game. But initially, like, the regular controls, what do they have? You uh, you hold the right trigger and then fucking hit X, which is just fucking stupid. But with this one, you hold the left trigger to aim, right trigger to fire. The only thing that's still weird about it is the fucking left stick aims, not the right, which is fucking bizarre. But, hey, you know... As back in the day, you know, people weren't, weren't as sophisticated as we are today, so you work with what you got. That's a crow. Ready? Shoot him. He drops shit. That's... I shot the wrong crow first. Ah! Alright, there's gonna be a lot of this. And I mean a lot. Pretty much every time you change screens in this game, you get a checkpoint, which is fan-fucking-tastic. Because you can retry again, and again, and again, and again. Now... Uh, like that. These guys drop valuable shit! And it's two seconds into the game, so I'm sure as fuck not gonna miss it. Um. I lost my train of thought. This is normal. I think you have to beat the game first to unlock professional. But. There's another one around here somewhere. Where is this fuck? Oh, there he is. Uh, but I wouldn't play it on professional anyway because. I, I beat it on professional. I've beaten it on professional on uh, the GameCube and the PS2. But I'll end up retrying one section about 40 times. And I know I'll still do that in the Let's Play. And I really don't want to be doing that. So, fuck you. I'm playing it on normal. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> By that, I mean fuck around with something on my computer. Uh, I don't. Whoa, it's a knife! But I don't want to hear you assholes crying. Well, I, I really don't give a fuck. You're going to cry anyway. I'm not playing on hard. I'm playing it on normal. Shut the fuck up, okay? You're getting a Let's Play. And you're getting Resident Evil 4, which is a goddamn treat of treats. So shut your whore mouth Excuse and me. be quiet during Sir? this cutscene. Shh. Cutscene. It's a, uh, it's a cutscene. All right, my plan with this. Because I have way less time than uh, than I did I back in the day. Recognize a girl in this photograph. By the time you're watching this, I will hopefully have a shitload of these ready. If not all of them. I doubt I'll have the whole game done. But uh, I'll, hopefully I'll have a couple. I'm going to release one a fucking week. That's it. One a week. Alright? So if it's like 12 parts, bam! You just got three months of fucking video. So I don't want to hear you bitching about it. I don't know what that day is yet. That I'll be releasing them on. Baboosh! But, uh, you'll figure it out eventually. When, uh, when that's the day I upload them. Okay, great technique there. If you shoot the guy in the face, or right in, like, the kneecap, they'll get stunned. You can run up to them and kick them, and then fucking knife them while they're on the ground. And it saves you a shitload of bullets. Granted, this game is nothing like Resident Evil, the... I was gonna say one, but it's really all of the classic Resident Evils where it's all about like ammo okay? 
conservation and shit like that. They give you a fuck ton of ammo in this game, but still, I'm a stupid whore. And I fucking hoard everything. Shut the fuck up, Hunnigan, you whore. Uh, so, I will be fucking showing you tips, tricks, and more. That's pretty amazing that that guy just gave me handgun ammo. Uh, that's not too common. That's awesome. So let's fucking head on upstairs and grab some more handgun ammo, which is conveniently placed over here. I'll probably remember a lot in the beginning, uh, and then, like, forget about shit later on in the game. But until then, let's let's ride this no Oh my god, he almost hit me already. Let's ride this knowledge train. So, like, okay, you get three guys here. Here's how you do it. Here's how you do it. Okay, that guy is gonna start shit. Just shoot him in the face, run up to him, and then be like, BAM! And the best part about it is, if the other guys are close, They'll get, like, knocked back, too. So, boosh! Like, that guy got, uh... Wow, he's dead already. Like, that guy got knocked over. Ah, fuck! I already got hit. I went for the kneecap. You guys suck. I mean, granted, you hit me. <clears throat> no! But, you know, not too bad. It was a poor start. Alright, let's move along here. First save points. Right, I'm going the wrong way already. This is pretty fucking sweet. Um, yeah, that's the bridge to... Th ah, fuck it, let's look. This game, uh, unlike Dead Space, does have quick turn, which is very nice. Though they said they intentionally left it out of Dead Space so you couldn't get the fuck away. And you'd have to go... And run away. But this game has it. That guy's car went off the cliff, so he's totally fucked. Let me see if there's subtitles. Is there subtitles available in this game? Because if there is, they are not turned on. Screen settings, new, and controller setup, negative, brightness, all right, sweet. So you're never gonna understand, if you have never played this game before, then you're never gonna understand what's going on because I'm gonna talk over every goddamn cutscene like I always do. Oh, Beery. Yeah, that just happened. Eh? Fucking uh, inside joke for my subscribers. Would you? Please don't be fucking dumb and shoot these boxes. You have a knife. It's very fucking handy. The knife is phenomenal in this game. In the beginning, anyway. Because it doesn't take up inventory spots. You always have it equipped. And it's great. Fuck. Damn it! See if I saved it there? Which I should have. Also, like... I'm getting that. When you get to a new area you get checkpointed, and when you save it, it, you also get checkpointed. See, there's my first save on the game that I fucked up because I, uh... Because I deleted my, uh, commentary track. Whoopsies! Oh my god, it's like the exact same time. It's like fucking, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ten minutes again? Like, what are, the, what are the odds? What are the odds of that? So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna try and make each part about a half an hour. Uh, so I'm just gonna play till I, I fucking feel like stopping, and then I'm just gonna edit it to the closest point that makes sense to be a half an hour. So, most likely, the, the parts will just abruptly end, unless, like, I am paying attention and I go, oh, a half an hour's up and I'm done playing, and I turned it off. That may or may not be the case. I don't fucking know. But, they should be, save that dog, because he'll help you later, or wolf, whatever it is, um... They should be about a half an hour. So half an hour, one a week, shut the fuck up. That's what we're going with so far. You want me to fucking, you want to cry about it? I won't make videos no more. And then you'll fucking cry yourself to sleep because you're a little baby. But if you want fucking classic, uh, <laughs> top quality, fucking grade D videos. Oh, fuck me. I did not know that bear trap was there. That I forgot about. Motherfucker. God damn it. You know what? And hmm, I ran through that like 40 times before. And I didn't hit, see, so what I'm gonna do is, watch this, because I'm a fucking piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit human being. Now I'm gonna retry it, because I just saved it, so my restore will be at the save point. Oh, look! Fucking got my health back. Oh, fucking, the crows are back, too? Christmas fucking morning! It's funny, because Christmas is, like, not even ten days away. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, still waiting, there we go. Second time is a charm. Nice. That's tell me it's a grenade. Give me a grenade. Ah! Oh! Fucking hand grenades. Fantastic. Especially in the beginning and the upcoming village. Now, the village up ahead. Should I explain it now? Should I explain it when I get there? I don't know. Maybe I'll start explaining it now because it's going to be hectic as fuck when you get there. There's two optional enemies you could fight 
in the village coming up. Uh, chainsaw guys. You don't have to fight either one. You can beat it without well, like you you. You really don't have to fight them if you if you stay away from this one spot. But it's very beneficial to fight both because each one drops uh, one drops a gem which is worth ten thousand and one drops just ten thousand dollars. So like it's the same fucking thing, but they decided to be fancy and just mix it up. And that's very helpful early on. You use money to, uh, I believe it's called Pesetis, is the currency. Uh, you use that to buy guns and upgrade your weapons and all that good stuff. So it's very uh, useful early on. So you definitely want to, you definitely want to kill both chainsaw guys. And on normal, it's not, it's not that challenging. I just baited that guy into a mine because he's a fucking retard. Thanks for setting it, shitbird. Oh, look, and he gave me shit too. Yeah, give me those fucking Pesetis. 1,200, goddamn, that's a lot in the beginning, again. You just kind of get a feel for the game after playing it over and over again of, like, what's good and what's bad. 1,200, very good. There's a dude inside this shed, right? Is there a dude in there? No? Oh, that's the later one, then. Then there's a dude up ahead. No, actually, there's two dudes up ahead here. Yep, there they are. Look, sometimes they try and do that. Ooh, they will start throwing shit at you. Shoot you in the face. It'd be great if that guy was closer, because I could have kicked him too, but... Ugh. Now I'm going to knife this guy in the ground. Ready? Kick that guy. Knife! Knife! Oh, he's dead? What? I'm pretty sure he's not dead, but that's okay. Knife, knife, knife. He is dead. Look at that. Hmm. Well, you fucking got me. So, you go to... <laughs> Hello! <laughs> so, uh... What are you doing tonight, baby? <laughs> yeah! It is a new era! <laughs> of loneliness! Oh, God. Boosh! A thousand. We're off to a great start here, besides me getting hit right in the beginning and already resetting twice. But let's forget about that. We're all friends here, right? We're buddies? Yeah! That's what I'm saying! Oh, see, though, you can kill those guys up there, actually, but there's no point because you can't collect... If they do drop anything, you can't collect it. There's a guy in that shed. Uh, you can't collect it anyway, so there's absolutely no point in shooting them. It's just a total waste of bullets. This guy's all being fucking dumb. Shoot him in the face. Run in. Run out. Skip to the fucking wall. And then just knife. They die very uh, uh, easy early on. And uh, believe it or not, the game will get harder as it goes. That's actually not true. The enemies will get stronger, but the game doesn't necessarily get harder because you do upgrade your guns and shit and become a complete fucking badass. So in my typical fashion, you just fucking conserve bullets in the beginning. Once you get to the castle, as long as you have money and you didn't play like a fucking moron, Thanks. You can like upgrade your shit. You can buy the good guns, and you could be a fucking pretty pimp. I'm not gonna fucking do any of that shit. I don't care. This game has an interesting uh, item management system, which, if I remember what button it is to get to it, is okay. It's just start, which is this attaché case. God damn, that's a fancy word. I'm so smart for saying it right. Uh, but you just have this grid, and you just pop the items in. Personally, I think it's pretty cool. I I've always kind of liked this system. I thought it was. It was different, but it was so much better than that piece of shit system from fucking uh, Resident Evil Zero, where you have to drop all your shit. That sucked ass, and I, they better never fucking do that again. I would like uh, another Resident Evil made in the classic style of the you know fixed camera third person deal, but I am a huge fan of Resident Evil Four. I was I was a huge fan of Resident Evil since Resident Evil One when I was like four years old, and I play. That's not true. I was like. I think it was like 13 when I first played it, and I was like terrified of it, but it was still awesome. All right, I'll admit I'm still terrified of it, but... Uh, so I was a huge fan of the original version, but 4 came out. 4, no doubt, is my favorite. It's probably 4, then 2, yes, Leon's a fucking boss, then 5, then 1, and then after that, I really don't give a fuck. But here we are playing Resident Evil 4. This is the village I was talking about where there's the chainsaw guys. You want to run around and collect as much shit as you can in order to fight the chainsaw guys, because usually while I will kill them with the handgun, it's like, you know, the final blow after laying into them, like, with uh, grenades. And not the guy uh, outside, as I'll explain, but the guy inside with the shotgun. 
because you get the shotgun once you go inside the house. It's like a whole fucking thing, but you want to run around all these houses and shit. There's a... Uh... Oh, that was so goddamn close. There's this bell tower here, which I believe has shotgun shells at the top of it. If memory fucking serves. Which it better, memory, you fucking jerk off. Wait for it. Oh, goddamn, I'm so good. Okay. You want to hurry the fuck up? Oh, I can hear the chance I got already. Uh, you want to hurry the fuck up and jump down as quickly as possible because they will congregate at the bottom. And when you jump down, they just fuck your shit up. Hardcore. This over here is what I like to call a yellow herb. God damn it, I'm good. Uh, what the yellow herb does, it has to be combined with a green or red. It can be combined with a green and red. I'm going to go ahead and combine it with a green because the next time I get hit, I'll use it. I don't want to use it with a full health because then if I mixed it with the red and green, then I'd want to wait till I have little to no health to use it. Otherwise, you're wasting it. So I'd say mix it with a green. If I get hit one more time, I'll use it. I recommend you do the same at home, kids. That's from a fucking chicken. I'll take it. That's fine. I'll play that game. I'll make some fucking eggs. Scramble? That's fine. I can cook! Don't judge me! Flash grenades suck now. Well, they don't suck. I mean, they just, they stun them and they can't see. They're not that useful. They're incredibly useful later in the game when the, uh, when the enemies get stronger because certain enemies, the, the flash grenade is an instant kill. Kick him, guy. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm gonna get stabbed. I, I, ah, no, 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 ah, ah! See, this is... Oh, actually, actually, we can still save this. This is where we'd be good to do that, so I'll just fucking mix this with here. Boom! Not only did I get full health, but my health went up. Now, this guy's gonna be my saving grace, because I just fucking kicked the shit out of everybody. Normally, I would kill them all and knife them and all that shit, but we're on a time frame. What happens here is you just run around long enough, the bell will ring. Somebody threw shit at me. There'll be a fucking uh, church bell that'll ring, and then all the enemies will disappear. Which normally is good, but if you did not kill the chainsaw guys, then you miss out on 10 or possibly 20,000 pesetis, which fucking sucks. You definitely want that shit out the window! There's one more little safe room I gotta hit. Uh, actually, I don't have to hit it. I'll hit it afterwards. The items will still be here if you, like, afterwards. Because uh, I know there's a couple things in, like, Resident Evil 5 where if you don't get it during the scene, like, after you progress and get the cutscene and that shit, the items will be gone. That, se that is not the case here. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I'm a little lost right now. Oh, here we go. Okay, the chance of guy is not up here because I've already been here. So I'm going to shoot her in the face for fun because I don't like her goddamn stupid attitude. This is sad, because I really am lost. Ah, here we go. Okay, we gotta head over here and then make a left. I'm gonna run right in between you, like fucking Speedy Gonzalez. Make you two look like fucking idiots. Oh, they're throwing shit again. You can shoot the shit out of the air, too. Or the sickles, not just the shit. And deflect them, and you feel like a badass when you do it. Like that! Oh! Whoa, that's... That was close. Thankfully, they're pretty slow. Gonna go ahead and equip this grenade right here. Aim down. You're gonna get blown the fuck up, like so. It's not gonna kill him, but it will fuck him up. It is easy, or normal, which... Oh, shit, 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 shit. I should be able to finish him with a pistol after that, uh... After that grenade. Bam! Stay down, fool! Ah, oh, fuck. Reload, reload! There we go. You're dead. You suck! Alright. Good. Okay, more guys are coming. Now, what you want to do is head into this house. If you head into this house that I'm about to head into before you kill that chainsaw guy, that chainsaw guy will disappear. So you have to kill him first. You head into this house here. You get this little cutscene. Leon goes, shit, I believe. This is the only cutscene. I'll be quiet for a second. Hang on. Wait, he'll look out the window. I think he's a shit. Wow, did they really tone it down? I'm almost positive in the GameCube version he says shit. And now he went great. That's fucking stupid. That's fucking stupid. Alright, so you can run over here. You can push shit in front of windows, which is... It's a pretty cool aspect of this game. There's a part later... 
that's very similar to the uh, Call of Duty Zombies thing. Not not like as ridiculous as it's gotten now in, in like Black Ops was the last one, but when they first introduced it, this is immediately the first thing I thought of because this was out first. But there's the shotgun. This bitch came through the window and then somehow missed me with that sickle like a fucking dumb whore. And I kicked that guy. And I knife this bitch. Look at that. Look at that. That's saving bullets. Saving bullets. Headshot. Kick in the fucking back. Bam. Ugh. Boosh. Kablooey. Run away. Ooh. I want the chainsaw guy up here. Which I can hear him coming. And hopefully he's not... Oh, there he is. Whoa! That was close. I was going to say hopefully he's not downstairs. So I'll set this up. I'll run back over here. Get in my little corner. Throw my grenade. Boosh! That guy got fucking fucked up. Now, if he does come at you upstairs, it's actually better because you can kill him and, like, fucking eight guys in that room. But, fuck it. Again, you are on a time limit. So, you definitely want to kill him quickly. So, I will switch to the shotgun and just shoot him right in the fucking face. And again, while he's down. Well, bam. Here we go. This is, this is a good use for the shotgun because you're still using it on the chainsaw guy. You're just blasting everybody else along with him. Boosh! One more for the road. Kablam! And that guy's going to be dead soon. Hopefully. Kick him, kick him, kick him! Yes! What's nice, too, about kicking them is... Oh, kick him, kick him, kick him. Ah, Is it makes you, like, invulnerable. When you, when you do it, you can't be hurt, like, while you're kicking someone. Okay, this is, uh, this is getting a little hectic. I'm gonna fire this and then reload. Definitely want that chance I gotta die because we're, uh, we're cutting it close here. There we go, I think he's dead. Kick this dude, buy me some time, fucking reload. Bash! Kick that guy, I'm gonna fucking get grabbed by this bitch. That's total bullshit. Oh, but the chance that guy's dead. The money's there. Shit in this game will disappear if you don't... There's the 10,000. If you don't pick it up for long enough. However, in this cutscene right there, see, that's how close it was. If I didn't kill that guy yet, I'd be fucked and I wouldn't get my shit. But the shit that is on the ground will still be there when I walk back in that house. They're gonna start me outside. I'm gonna go back in and grab it and then there's at least one house that I know for a fact that I can uh, go in and collect more shit. Yeah, Lord Sadler, blah, 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 blah. Go hello, go hello, go hello. I don't know fucking Spanish, European, moon speak, none of that. But later on when they start jibber-jabbering, they Pursuit. definitely say go halo, go halo, bingo. go halo. Where are we gonna go, bingo? Oh, fucking zing! Rim shot, but I'll bump. Leon S. Kennedy, comedian extraordinaire. Back on the fucking walkie. I think this game also sets a record for the, body of the longest ever a walkie-talkie has worked before the battery dies or it gets jammed. Don't worry, it'll happen. But, again, I said the longest before it happens. So, uh, okay. I want to head back in this house as fast as I can upstairs to pick up any shit that I missed because I said it will disappear if you wait too long. Oh, fuck, no, it was downstairs. Uh, I made a messy in my pants because I'm so stupid, but all right. Fucking 10 handgun ammo. That's legit. Way too much to quit. I think, okay, that was the only thing there. But important part, got both fucking chainsaw guys. Highly recommend it. If you fuck it up, just hit retry. All right, head out over here, out this window. Run around. There's a spinal, spinal, spinal. I call them spinal because there's only one end. They're worth two grand each, so you definitely want to be picking up that shit. Like I said, there, there's treasures in this game which are really fucking worth picking up. Especially the treasures that you can combine shit. Like, we'll be getting a, a beer stein soon. And you could sell it. But there's these three gems that you can insert in the beer stein. And everything sold separately isn't worth as much as if you save the beer stein, you wait till you get all three gems, and then you combine them all, and then you get Cunning Rook signing online. No, then you get more money for... Whatever the fuck you, uh, you're you selling it is. So if, if anything's ever 
uh, combinable, it's always worth more uh, after you combine it. So just fucking wait. And all of them, f for, for everything there is in the game that you can combine shit with, they're like set... Fucking Christ, really? Canadian fucking Central. Rook's Canadian too. This is bullshit. Um, they're set locations in the game except for one set of... Uh, w one thing has, has shit you can combine with it that you randomly get from enemies, which I will point out later, And but it's, it's way later. In, well, not way later, but it's, it's a ways later in the game from now. Okay, so we've... Th there may be one or two things in the village. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not going to fucking run... A fine tooth comb with it because I got all the, uh, the the main shit. You definitely just want to hit all the buildings I got. You don't want to miss that yellow herb. That's important. They do give you more than enough yellow herbs to give you full health because your health, if you look at my the lower right hand screen there, can eventually get upgraded all the way to the fucking, the end of those black bars there. I forget how many yellow herbs that actually takes, but there's like three or four more extra than you need, which you can then oh, ammo, which you can then use on Ashley who's like the bitch you'll have to be protecting a fair amount of the game after we rescue her she can't fill up in one game but this game has new game plus and everything carries over, so you use all the, if, if you get every yellow, you can fill Leon's, give a couple to Ashley, and then just top her off in the uh, new game plus if you choose to play it now you can kill chickens for eggs and stuff, don't feel like getting into it, here's a map about blue medallions. There are in fact your 15 blue medallions. There are 7 in the farm, which is where we are now, and there's 8 in the cemetery. 10 gets you a free gun of the next gun, which is actually weaker than this one. Uh, and 15 gives you a free damage upgrade, which then puts it 0.1 stronger. Not much, but it's free, so that's what I'll be using. Don't shoot that, because it'll fall in the shit, you won't be able to get it. Shoot that, that'll fall. Miss it, then shoot it. Pearl Pendant. Again, that's worth 5000 10000 something like that. It's worth some cash. Definitely worth getting. Uh, the, the upside of that medallion thing is when you pick it up, like I just did, all the fucking medals are on your map, so there's no goddamn excuse to not get them all. Damn. Kick that guy in the face. Commence the knifing of his dick. Knifing will become a lot less effective later just because guys take way more bolts to die. You have a lot of ammo, so you don't need to conserve as much. And more importantly, their heads will explode and the enemies get stronger. Yes, even if you're cutting them in the ass or the leg, sometimes their heads explode. It's very infuriating when that happens because it's total fucking bullshit. But I digress. Head over here. Blue medallion up here. God damn it, I'm a good shot. Except for all the times that I missed. Don't mind that. You forget about that. But but that time was good. A thousand fucking pesetis. Fucking incendiary grenades, cabinets. This guy fucking loots. Leon was probably in New Orleans when Katrina hit, and he's just honed his skills. He's just honed his craft since then. And oh, this guy around here. Is, oh, he's up. To, he's up top. That's why. No, it was a different guy. But uh, this guy is up top. This is great. What's gonna happen is that guy's gonna come in. He's gonna climb that ladder, and I'm just gonna, <laughs> he's gonna knock it over, and he's gonna be like, oh, no. Watch where is he? Or are you ass- See, there he is, that's just- Whoa, that was fucking bullshit. You trying to pull here? I'm gonna go pick this up first, while I wait for your stupid ass to come to you- Oh, oh, he's gonna fucking best me. He bested me, I'll give it to him. I wasn't ready, and now- Wow, you suck! Get the fuck out of here! That guy just got fucking faced. I fucked up, I gave him the victory, and he fucked it up. And then I just exploded his brain matter. Don't put the ladder up, Leon. Nobody gives a shit. Where'd he go? Hate it when fuckers don't drop shit. It really sucks. Okay, so the Y button's the map for this control setting and on the 360. So if you pop that fucker open, you can see, bam, there's a fucking medallion right behind me. Where is it? It's in the tree. See? I missed it. It was right next to the map. That's actually the most obvious one in this area, which is why I forgot about it. Another one over there. This- Whoa! I tried to actually shoot the sickle. Wasn't necessary because he missed me, but would have been cool if I did it, right? Yeah, you're dead, you fat asshole. There's a barrel over here. I fucking love this game. If you've never played this game, even if you're watching this Let's Play, fucking play it. It's fantastic.